Hi, I'm Brian with Ferronix Technical Support, and in this video, we will be going over the installation of Ferronix Antivirus Enterprise. Before proceeding with the installation of Ferronix Antivirus Enterprise, you will need to have Ferronix Core Console installed on your management machine, as well as have the Core Agent installed on your client workstations so that they show up in the Core Console under the Managed Workstations node on the left-hand side. If you have this setup, you can proceed with the antivirus installation by closing the Core Console. If you do not have this setup, you may refer to the Ferronix Core installation video given in the description below. Start by downloading the antivirus installation file from Ferronix.com or from Ferronix Labs. Once you have the installation package downloaded, right-click on the compressed folder and extract the contents of it. You will now see the Antivirus 4 loading installer. Again, ensure the Ferronix Core console is closed before running this installer. To proceed with the installation, just simply double-click on the installer. Once the install wizard pops up, click on the Next button. Accept the terms in the license agreement and click on Next. Here you may specify a username, organization name, and the license key which you can get from pharonixlabs.com, or use the 30-day fully functional evaluation. Once this is done, click on Next, and then click on Next again. Hit the Install button to begin the installation, and then click on Yes to restart the Pharonix Core service. Once this is complete, click on Finish, and wait for about two minutes for the antivirus loading to initialize before opening up the Core Console. Once the Core Console is launched and connected, expand the Local Host node on the left-hand side, expand the Workstations node, and expand Managed Workstations. You will now see the Antivirus 4 plugin in the Core Console. If you select this, you will notice that there are no workstations listed on the right-hand side since no client workstations have Ferronix Antivirus installed on them. If you expand the Antivirus 4 node, you will notice that there is a default policy which you can configure by right-clicking on it and go into Policy Details. Here, you can configure the workstation settings, the scan settings, the active protection, and the firewall protection settings. Once you have configured your policy, hit OK. And then, to install Ferronix Antivirus on the client workstations, go to Managed Workstations. Select the workstations where you would like to install Ferronix Antivirus, right-click, and then go down to Install Upgrade Antivirus for Client. Select this option. Click OK on the prompt which says that the machines will reboot after a successful installation of Ferronix Antivirus. This installation can be scheduled, or you can have it happen immediately by selecting the Now radio button. Click on OK. Once that's done, you will notice in the Active Task column that the install of the antivirus is in progress. You also see this in the Tasks node on the left-hand side. If you expand the Tasks node, expand Active, and you will see the install in progress. If this is successfully completed, or if it fails, you will see the result in the History node. You will now notice that the workstation has gone offline to reboot after a successful installation, and once it comes back up, it should have Ferronix Antivirus installed on it. Once the machine is back up online, you will notice that the machine now has Ferronix Antivirus. If you go to the Antivirus node on the left-hand side and select it, you will see the workstation show up here since it has Ferronix Antivirus installed. From here, you can control the antivirus by right-clicking on it, and then you can perform actions such as scanning the workstation, viewing the quarantine, 
fixing an antivirus product if it has any issues with updating or scanning, updating the definitions, you can reassign a policy, enable or disable the firewall, enable or disable the active protection, view the scan history, and then upgrade the version of Ferronix antivirus as well. If you go down to the system tray, you will notice the Ferronix antivirus icon. If you see a red X initially on it, this means that the Ferronix product is just getting the latest definitions and also will perform a scan before the machine is recognized as fully protected. This should happen in a couple of minutes, depending on your internet connectivity. If you have any questions or see any issues during the installation of Ferronix Antivirus, please contact Ferronix Technical Support. Thank you.